journey a part of her journey was put out in the script was uh, as as a narrative and uh, i thought that is very interesting i thought this is a story which must be told you find you, it's good bad you judge her whatever you, whatever it is but it is what it is that's her that's a fictional character so that's the beauty about films that they don't have to necessarily be you know a reflection of uh, what you always expect or you know this is not realistic i think in a film world anything is possible and uh, and but but at the heart of it it's 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 something which um, i don't want to say too much because i really like you to watch the film and then decide it for yourself but it stayed with me it stayed with me for a very important reason and i hope it does the same to you and at the same time um, here's a director here's a team that trusted me to portray this character because when you have a reference in your mind an actor doing something and you know you remotely seen an actor perform something it's easier maybe to cast them to so that's you know your or your standard way of you know casting but it's very rare when someone trusts you to um do something which there's no there's none there's no reference to it so i thought i and i love that i love that uh so i i would uh, i love that challenge i love the story i love the script and i thought uh, i really i should be a part of this i really want to do this and you know going by the trailer you are in a confined space you are in a place where we are in a school with a lot of kids taken as hostages and it's it's a confined space like you are shooting entirely in one single environment yeah. so how challenging was that and going i'm sure you shot during the pandemic also so how mm-hmm. challenging was that whole process of actually being in one location and shooting the like i'm sure it was almost the whole of the film you know that's a very interesting question because when you read it it doesn't sound as difficult or as challenging as it is when you reach on set because there's only so much to it thank you there's only the geography set you know as as seen in the trailer it's very clear so and secondly when you are performing a scene uh one of scenes are okay there will be some scenes you know where you're you're alone or it's your moment and all but throughout there will be somebody or the other you're interacting with like how in real life mm-hmm. right that's yeah. how you take the energy and that's how the synergy is formed and you perform a scene you know here yeah, there was no one <laughs> and it's not that easy huh? you you it, it's not easy and but yeah, exactly. you are constantly connected you are connected you are talking so we had to and there is so much space only so even technically treatment wise the way we had to block the scenes and you know st- still at the end of the day it has to be all engaging it cannot yeah. be dead it came with a lot of challenge we worked we worked and i and i love being a part of the entire process i want to know what's happening how the treatment of the film is going to be i have ev- almost everything written on my in my notes um uh, with very bad handwriting but where i i mark everything like in so f- before i reach the set i should be able to imagine my character N- nena how she would be walking in that space uh, you know how your 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 uh, any peculiar eye movement or anything that is very subtly needed in something and you leave little room for of course a lot of room for spontaneity as well and you improvise but a uh, lot of homework and a uh, very meticulous work went into it because it can be very challenging it can be challenging as a viewer also to watch you should never feel um stagnant especially when it's a thriller drama so my question was like in the in the movie also you're constantly on touch via phone with every person about negotiation and all that so 
how uh, like how did you what was the whole process because i'm sure that it might be uh, even that would have been challenging that you you have to constantly say it and react also accordingly uh, when he or pain hearing from the other side yeah i mean that's when actually there's a short story that i had read in school on solitary confinement that's where it comes to life because as my, it sounds okay on paper it sounds fine but when you actually reach that space you know uh, and there's nobody and yet you're connected with all the characters but when you're physically around the characters other actors you know there's a there's an exchange of energy and that's how you know your the scene is built on that synergy of uh, you know of the actors and characters uh, or maybe one of times you know you'll have a solo scene or where it's you know a very self absorbing scene and all those things but here there's a here it was just yeah me alone in that space and of course the geography has been set there's only so much you can do so creatively and technically both we had to be we had to block and prepare ourselves so much that an audience should never feel dead an audience should not feel stagnant i think at any point and yet um to to be true to what the film space should be so that needed again a lot of prep i i like working on my roles i have this um i have this lot of very bad handwriting but these handwritten notes which constantly have question marks also uh, i i i work on like i you start imagining your characters in motion that's what i do when i'm reading a script so by the time i reach the set i have roughly somehow imagined her that how she's going to be how she's going to talk how is the this i moment at this time or on this line it should be sometimes it's spontaneous or you imp- improvise but there are some roles where it's that much detail that that uh, you know your even some of the most subtle reactions you know what you want to do so it's a mix and match of both so it it needed a lot of that mental prep and uh, this is your third uh, film which is releasing on ott so is it is there any kind of uh, miss some miss you have of the thrill of theatrical experience you know this film when this was signed it was kept in mind it's going to be for the ott platform okay and uh, actually rightly so because right now also where we sit right we, you cannot guarantee how it's going to do mm-hmm. at the box office um we know uh, the action entertainer especially are being widely loved and appreciated but for the mid budget films or small budget films or such films we going to find our own it will take some time before we find a path or a way again back to the theaters of, but when the film was made everybody was like we want to see this on the big screen you know um of course that feeling is there but uh, and i'm sure it'll happen with some other films but uh, here is a time where you know we were hit with this covid out of nowhere and these ott platforms came as such a big relief and a surprise and a medium of support to so many of us people would have lost uh, producers and investors would have lost so much money if this platform wasn't there and it's find its way somehow in, you know in the audiences rooms in their homes yeah. now they are waiting kya acha kaun sa platform par aa rahi hai aapki film they, they they know it they know and so that means it's created a set audience for itself it is not going to be easy for us to as much as you would want to eventually it will happen but it's not going to be easy because now two years is a long is a good time for people to develop a habit yeah. you know if you're giving a choice so for me it's it what it means it's uh, as much as i love that experience is going to happen soon i'm sure but you can dabble between both the mediums they both have you, you even there's there's no box office thing associated with the ott but you still get to know people's reaction you still get to know how the film has done there are barometers to know how your film has been genuinely received i'm not talking about um, the ones which you know okay say nice things say nice things but uh, with the genuine reaction like how it happened with us with the with the trailer when it got released i mean we were just surprised that uh, it got so much love and we are feel really um, 
you know humble for this support because we need it i need it i need the support yeah. and uh, did it occur to you people like uh, it's the title is a thursday and people have been associating with a wednesday and all that because it's anyway it's it's about negotiation and threats and all that so did it also occur to you oh is it related in some or the other way i'm sure the plot is quite different but yeah did it occur to you like how people have been perceiving um yes there is a section of media that um, you know has been asking this question and it's fine if they want to ask i understand the curiosity must be stemming out from the fact it's the title you know right um, yeah. here is a wednesday which is a cult film it, it was a path breaking film i think for that time with the performances the writing the direction and everything was just you know um, so fantastic but to just put it out there in black and white no a uh, thursday and a wednesday is doesn't have anything to do with the story it is not a sequel and we would really appreciate if it's watched like to dislike is your prerogative obviously but mm -hmm. it's watch for the film it is if you already have that in mind while writing you know your review or anything anyone it's not fair because that was that's not the idea it's just because of two factors the title and ronnie scruwala is the reason why you probably feel that connect <laughs> and we we've had hostage dramas in the past in the west and in hindi films uh we had one recently also mm -hmm. so, uh, we we uh, we will have it in future also i'm sure so genres so jaise to itne hi hai ye sab overlap kar sakte hain बट फिर भी हर फिल्म अलग है हर कहानी अलग है ये किसी और की जर्नी है ये किसी और का तरीका है अपनी बात कहने का क्या कहना चाहते हैं सुन लेते हैं एक बार फॉर व्हाट इट इज and you know it's interesting because it's 2022 and it's it's been nearly 10 years since uh, since wiki donor released on the big screen like it's a decade of you in the hindi movie industry so I won't say if you look back or anything, but how would you actually describe this whole journey of you coming from a different medium and then uh, making it so big in 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 the Hindi movie industry? And now you have so many films in your kitty. Like, how would you describe your whole decade-long journey in movies? Uh, I think life comes a full circle. Some you know people say maybe it is true, but here that circle is very amoebic. I'd say. <laughs> uh so it's in a me big circle uh the reason why i say this because i feel the excitement which i had for my first film which i still remember when it was out there in theaters it's very much it's it's back it's it's that is that's a mix of being little nervous really excited and when you're happy promoting or talking about something which you were happy being a part of and that is that is what wiki donor was for me we didn't know it's going to be so big we just knew that it's a film which had its heart at the right place talks about a subject which can be easily frowned upon that ha ye kis tarah ki picture hai but <laughs> what it did um uh, at not just i'm saying at the box office but critically but just anyone who watched it that the fact that you remember with a smile you yeah. remember you feel happy when you watch it that's it that that comes with the right intention and uh, now i feel this time came back for me after a long time like especially in 2019 is when um, you know gears were shifted and i i was like you know i don't know i don't know what you i'm chasing i just need to be true to myself true to what kind of films i want to do i started my career not knowing what it's going to be i just wanted to be a part of a good film i got a very good part work got to work with a very good director that is that's it that's the only thing i need so only when you start overthinking you you know um, success over you know with your first film also comes with its own you know all the good things also and all the great challenging things also but the end the whole idea is as you said not to look back but to move on in life what has happened your things your struggles and all those things of course i mean everybody goes through it aap is industry se hain aap is industry se nahi hain aap journalist hain aap doctor hain aap corporate world mein hain aap ek uh, aap kisi bhi field mein hain it's not possible that you know you would 
won't be you won't meet uh, difficulties but the 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 point is that um, you you need to grow in life you need to think bigger in life you think to you need to think always see the bigger picture in life and slowly and steadily it's okay move there last year was not slow and steady it was a big one and uh, so so it feels good i mean as these films will roll out you know for release um, we will we'll get to know how you know that whole effort and all the hard work was it really worth it i i'd say it was this is all up to you to decide but i will i will be thankful to my audience and uh, for sticking by me and even if they had to say you know we want to see more films there was a certain section of journalists who's been extremely supportive that yeah we've always rooted for you we knew you have it in you we should do more work so now i can say yeah i'll do more work <laughs> and i hope to engage you entertain you with good performances and good stories yeah yeah and uh, i actually want to ask you like how you zero down a project like what do you have like check boxes or certain or is it gut feeling or how do you actually zero down to a project when you're offered and like because i'm i've seen that you have been very choosy over the project and now you have like literally lined up of four five films back to back which you're wrap which you're shooting and you're keeping on announcing those films so like how do you actually zero down to a project oh five years back my answer would have been different you know um and that is why it was a very different trajectory at that time uh, and i'd say yes this question used to be posed um to me then back then and i had a very different answer and that answer was very incomplete i don't think i could really speak the truth at that time i don't think i was confident to uh lay myself um uh, you know uh, bear with words that you know it's it's i i don't know why films are not being offered to me or i don't know why not that's not the right way i think not good films being offered to me i don't know why i didn't know the answer to that you know and i used to just i used to feel really <laughs> awkward giving interviews i remember there was a time because you know what they're going to ask you know they're going to compare you have your contemporaries who are doing so much work and why don't you have so much work they'd say they'd feel that oh she is very choosy you know but i'm like what to choose you have to have things not to choose from now that i couldn't say at that time and but now things are so different things are not just for me but so many things are so different for those who want to make their debut now and uh so what i'm looking for essentially now 5 years later <laughs> i have to give you an answer the answer will be more or less the same it's it's i'm looking for characters i'm looking for roles i'm looking for good scripts and i'm looking to play a substantial part in every film that i do beat any genre i don't want to be fearful of doing a film where okay i know maybe it's not a very distinct part but it's a very substantial part and some where i feel i want to be a part of it i shouldn't fear that and at the same time i should not fear from headlining a film if i have to if i feel the story needs to be told yeah there's a risk but i want to take that risk because it's worth it i love the story and not just for the sake of being a uh, lack of a better word but a female actor led film so i want to do everything every genre i don't overthink mujhe ye ab ye karna hai i'm not i my mind is blank right now i know what i'm doing next but i'm not thinking anything what's going to be after that because i want to get surprised i want to get as surprised as as an audience you would want to get and uh, and go by my instinct but your script is your 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 foremost thing that should you know get you excited 